Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to share with you some stories of mine with a new series called The Audiobook Edition. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you're excited for this new series of mine. So without further chit chat, let's get into the audio. Episode 1 I Crush You Audiobook Edition So here goes. It all started back when I was in the 6th grade. Nothing really goes on in the mind of the 6th grader. Well, not for me. All I knew was that having lots of friends is what defines you during these times. I just had this urge to be in. I wanted to be one with the popular girls. You know, the ones that are pretty and all that and acting all cool so all the other boys in class would like them. Yeah, that's them. Don't get me wrong, they are pretty, but they're also brainy, I guess. For some odd reason, almost all of them are a part of the honor rolls. It took me a while to realize that the reason they were all in the honor roll is that most girls in our class lacks confidence. And the ones left with it are they. Yes, that's right. I cannot state the correlation of being confident and being in the honor roll enough. They go together like two peas in a pod. Anyway, going back to how I first had this crush on a guy named Kev. To start, Kev is the new guy in school. He just transferred to our school in the sixth grade. I remember how every girl immediately had a crush on him because of the fact that he is new. In our school, anything new is being feasted on. It's a tradition. It's like the opening of a 50% sale in a department store where everybody would kill to get that discount. But then again, I may be exaggerating, but I am also guilty of this so-called act. My eyes were shining like crazy when I first saw someone new. My eyes were so pleased by the sight of him. So in about a week or two, he was already a part of the popular boys. Well, that was easy. After all, he was cute and plays basketball too. Soon enough, he was already linked with one of the popular girls in our school named Reina. Lucky me. Two quarters went by and I was just in a corner admiring him from afar. I must say that even though he was linked with Reina, I would secretly stall for a few minutes before going home and go to the gym to watch him and his friends play basketball. Not too long afterwards, my friends slowly figured out what I was up to. They started asking questions about who my crush is, and before you know it, your girl just had to spill the tea. I literally can't keep my mouth shut when my actions obviously spoke louder than my words. After my friends found out about who my crush is, they didn't really take it as low-key as possible. Well, friends being friends, they just had to lend a helping hand by announcing to the whole class about my crush. <laughs> but before I tell you how the secret was revealed, let me first go through the things that happened before the secret was out. So, after my friends knew about it, they squealed. Yes! Squeal like a piglet, because they too also had a crush on the other members of the popular boys. I mean, come on, could you blame us? Those are the only available options in the market. <laughs> the number of boys in our class are outnumbered by the number of girls in it. So basically, we had limited choices. Can't be choosy now, can we? Anyway, going back... Around the end of the second quarter, the teacher made us exchange seats based on the preferred order of her favorite student, aka the teacher's pet. Long story short, I ended up sitting beside one of the popular boys named Brian. Brian was sort of like the leader of the group. He wasn't as cute as Kev, nor as tall as him, but his character was what brought the girls to his feet, the bad boy character. To me, I wasn't charmed. He was the last boy on my list. As days go by, we had little conversations here and there, and eventually, I have taken a teeny weeny liking into him. He wasn't as bad as his reputation portray him to be. He was kind of nice, although I still liked Kev more, 
I am starting to think that there was a tiny spark that is about to develop between us. Until one day, Naya, my friend, was with me in the lockers. We were fixing our books and preparing our things for the next class. We were having a very short conversation about the colors of our notebooks until suddenly she had to blurt it out loud that I had a crush on Kev. Thanks to her, Dino, a friend of Kev, who was also a part of the popular guys, so happened to be beside us since his locker was located near ours. As you all know, he was taken by surprise. He repeated the same phrase of Naya and asked if I had a crush on Kev. Of course, me being me, I couldn't say a thing. I was frozen. I myself was ready to pack my things and move to a whole new other country. Also note that at that very moment, I was extremely furious at Naya. Uh-oh. Naya kept apologizing to me, but then there's no point in getting mad at her now. Right as I went back home that day, all I wanted to do was to call in sick tomorrow so that I wouldn't face the humiliation that awaits me the next day. <laughs> then again, I didn't call in sick. I sucked all my humiliation up and still went to school. As I can remember, the day after the reveal wasn't as bad as I thought it could be. But the week that followed was way worse. People started teasing me and shipping me and Kev. Not so long after, I learned that he had asked for my phone number through someone else. Oh, I was yeah. beyond shocked and all I wanted to do is jump in joy. I just cannot believe it that after months and months of secretly admiring him, Things just started happening right after the secret was revealed. I don't know if I should thank Naya now, but I am still seeing where this will lead. So right when I found out about Kev asking for my number from someone else, me being my silly little young naive self went to talk to him about it and I crossed path with him during dismissal. I literally asked him if he asked for my number. And oh, how I regret what I did back then. But oh well, back to the story. So, I asked him and he said yes. I then asked him why he got it and he told me that it was nothing and he was just going to ask about some homework, which he had already settled. I then replied with an okay and we both went our separate ways. It was a very, very, very short conversation. But in that short period of time, I was having butterflies in my stomach like crazy. <laughs> well, that's for me to know only. For the next few days, the class is still shipping him and I, but as time passed by, I guess he became too confident. Little did I know that he only started showing motives because of the fact that I like him. <laughs> as time went by, he became kind of a jerk. My liking to him kind of slowly decreased and the vibe between us was not as good as it seems. Bad blood, shall I say? Anyways, soon enough I learned from my mistakes. Thank God every day for not making a foolish decision and not being so desperate enough to start a relationship at a young age. That's why they are called boys for a reason. Oh. They themselves are still exploring their true identity. At the second half of the school year, a new girl just enrolled. And oh how fast did Kev move his attention from one thing to the other. <laughs> she was really cute and all the other popular boys lined up to get her attention. And luckily, Kev being the sweet talker got the girl. Oh, I couldn't yeah. be any happier. Moral of the story, don't rush into things too quickly. Research about things first before diving in and making a decision. Be vigilant with your surroundings because you never know when a wave would hit you. Be smart, don't be foolish, and trust in God's timing. Enjoy the youth because you are only a youth once. Don't put it to waste. Relationships will come in time, so be young and enjoy the moment. That's it for today, guys. If you learned a thing or two from this audiobook, please give it a like and 
subscribe to my channel while you're at it. Until next time, bye.